Would this be a dawn of a new era in Indian one day cricket? Would this at least be a turn around than the dismal performances we've seen in the last two months? Welcome everyone. You're watching our special presentation, The Battle for Asia. I'm Shivani Gupta. We're going to preview the first match that India plays in the Asia Cup against host Bangladesh. They're going to kickstart their campaign in less than half an hour from now. We'll analyze whether Captain Kohli has picked the right playing 11 for this ODI, which has been one of the troubles for the Indian team and what are the challenges ahead as Virat Kohli aims for the Asian glory. Joining us on the show are consulting editor Borya Majumdar and also former Indian captain Saurav Gangli and a resident expert will join us live in just a bit. First up, let's set up this match for you. Remember in the 2012 Asia Cup, Bangladesh crashed Sachin Tendulkar's 100th party by pulling off a 290 run chase. So can there be another upset given India's recent downslide and the freshness in the side? Bangladesh players feel if they do beat India, it should no longer be called an upset. And certainly, India will not take the Tigers lightly at home. The most successful team in the tournament versus the runners-up of the previous edition. The temperatures in Dhaka are soaring. Jubilation. Well done, Bangladesh. As the Asian teams will play out of their skin to conquer the continent. And India will begin their title hunt against the team that ousted them last year. Yes, they don't have many fond memories from the last edition. But the Indian team can take inspiration from their better head-to-head -head record as they will be looking to tame the Bangladeshi Tigers in their own den. The Indian team is back in familiar subcontinent conditions. Conditions where they rule the roost. And for starters, they will be banking on their openers to start afresh and lay a solid foundation. And then with Virat Kohli at number 3, the team management will have a tough time on zeroing down on their middle order. As there are four players eyeing two available slots. Mohamed Shami will be leading India's pace attack as Ravi Chandran Ashwin will make the host dance to his spin. No, obviously the aim would be to win the tournament. Uh, so we haven't just come here to play one game and, and go back home. That's not our aim. For Bangladesh, the problems are many. They will also be forced to field a depleted playing 11. As their star players Tamim Iqbal and Shakib Al Hassan are already ruled out of this fixture. Skipper Mushfikar Rahim and Monimul Haq have an added responsibility to guide their batsmen. An Indian batsman would be wary of this man, Robil Hussain, who will be leading the Bangladesh's pace attack. Saurav Ganguly and Borya Majumdar with me on the show. Welcome gentlemen. Dada, I want to come to you first. Uh, Bangladesh feels that this should no longer be called an upset if they manage to beat India. They certainly feel they have the prowess to beat India at home. Of course, they've done it before in the last edition as well. So, how do you see the matchup? India don't really start as firm favourites in this match. No, I think India start as firm favourites in this match, to be honest. Yes, Bangladesh is an improved side. Uh, but between us, if India plays well, I don't see them losing to Bangladesh. Yes, upsets can happen. Bangladesh beat India in the last Asia Cup uh, uh, in, uh, in, in Dhaka. They had once beaten us in 2007 in the World Cup. But I don't think it, it, it happens very regularly. It happened once in a while. So for me, India start favourites. But India will have to treat, it, treat, treat this match as if they are playing a top class team. The biggest problem when you play teams which are weaker than you, especially teams like uh, Bangladesh, Zimbabwe, uh, you, tend to, you, you somehow tend to feel that no, we have the side to beat, uh, to beat that side. But suddenly 5-10 overs in a game uh, go, the, go the weaker team's way and you find yourself in a bit of a trouble. So India will have to be a lot more ruthless in this game. They will have to make sure that they do every department of their, of their, of their cricket right to beat Bangladesh. But as the question was whether India favourites or not, for me mm. India by far the favourites and will remain favourites for some time. Alright, Dada feels India are the favourites so that's good news and will remain favourites for a long some time to come at least. What are your thoughts on this? This is a fresher side that we've seen in the, you know, uh, in the last few years. A new captain and not a lot of form under their belt. But yes, these are familiar conditions. So that should really count for a lot. Yes, absolutely. Familiar conditions. But at the same time, uh, Saurav was talking from the Indian perspective. If I think from the Bangladeshi perspective, no Mahendra Singh Dhoni, no Suresh Raina, no Yuvraj Singh. 
fragile middle order, untested middle order. Yeah. So Bangladesh will also fancy their chances. I mean, India's recent record overseas, you know, pretty poor, pretty horrible. Yes, India is a completely different proposition in subcontinental conditions, but some team which can score 290 the last time round and upset the apple cart, this time also should believe that they can, they can or have the potential to do so. So while India do start favorites, I mean, ultimately, India is a heavy side. I mean, India has a lot of pedigree, which Bangladesh doesn't. But from Bangladesh's standpoint, if there is any team they will fancy their chances against, it is this team without a finisher like a Mahendra Singh Dhoni. So I think it's a good contest. Yes, India start favorites, but from Bangladesh's standpoint, don't rule them out even one bit. All right, uh, updates coming in uh, from uh, Bangladesh. India, Dada, have won the toss, but Virat Kohli has chosen to bowl first. Really, we can't think of any other reason than for the due factor in the evening because the pitch looks really hard and a really good track to bat on. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, there must be dew in Bangladesh this time. You know, it's in the eastern part, very closer to Bengal and it's winter yeah. for both of us. Obviously, it's the end of the winter, but uh, winter part for, for both of us. So there is dew in the evening and that's why the games start early at 1.30, not at 2.30, which normally is the case. So I think from that point of view, it's a decision to bowl first and also I think uh, India are backing their batting unit. Uh, it's, it's a tendency with Indian teams that they back their batting unit to win cricket matches and that's what Virat Kohli has done and, uh, and, and that's the way he wants to play this game. Even Mahindra Singh Dhoni has been doing it for some time when, he's, when he captains India that he bowls first and Virat Kohli has done the same thing. So it, it, you can make out that it's a clear case of backing your batting. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to make much of a difference because yeah. if you watch the Pakistan Sri Lanka game yesterday, uh, Sri Lanka got 296 and Pakistan lost. Although the reason for Pakistan losing was they lost too many wickets early on. Yeah. So from that point of view, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference unless and until it's heavy due. Yeah, it looks like it can be uh, quite a factor, this due. Uh, yesterday, two bowlers were having quite a bit of problems. Uh, but uh, uh, the other news coming in is, uh, Borya, there's no Pujara in the lineup, no Ishwar Pandey too. We talk about that weak middle order, or at least an untested middle order. Uh, your thoughts on leaving Pujara out? Yeah, I mean, you know, I would have wanted to play Puzep Pujara or see Pujara in that side. You've taken him, he's proved himself in the test match arena, you've dropped him again or going in without him. What is the point? I mean, obviously, if you've blooded him into the one-day arena, you want to play him because you've got to have him in the side for Australia, New Zealand come 2015. So give him as much one-day cricket as possible. So that's a bit surprising. Yesterday, I was watching Pakistan, New Zealand. Look, Pakistan versus Sri Lanka. Pakistan lost three, but then they were in the saddle. So there was not much due when Lasit Malinga was hurling his, his, yeah. his stuff at the, at the latter part of the innings. That's when the match was lost. There was not a problem. Pakistan was cruising when Misbah and Umar Akmal were batting. And they lost the last five wickets and 284, just a 12-run margin. So this whole mindset of bat, you know, backing your batting sort of keeps saying, and I want you to ask him this question sort of keep saying start of a tournament big match bat first and get the opposition you know to play under pressure does this talk of a defensive mindset please ask him this question yes dada isn't it not uh, the same mindset carried forward from ms dhoni as you mentioned you've so often said bat first when you win the toss yeah i am a firm believer in batting first in winning the toss and putting runs on the board and and uh, and putting teams out of the game if india bat against bangladesh bat big bangladesh is not the quickest bowling side in the world if they get 340 350 bangladesh are out of the game that's the way i look at cricket matches you look at the recent two test matches against australia in 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 centurion australia won the toss batted first they won the test match in south africa in in port elizabeth south africa won the toss batted on a green pitch they went on went on to win the test match more number of times you will get into good positions if you have a good batting unit and you bat first in a test match otherwise you know for years captains in world cricket wouldn't have won the toss and batted first unless and until it's an absolute turner uh, uh, sorry an absolute green seamer which can go anyway because if you if if the opposition bats well and put runs on the board at the end of the day they have runs on the board which is a saying in uh, saying in cricket but if that's the way Virat Kohli wants to play, we'll have to Correct. wait and see. It's fine against it's fine against Bangladesh. For me, uh, for me, it's fine if Virat Kohli wants to win the toss and 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 field and chase. Fine if he's winning, it's fine. If he's not winning, my point is he needs to obviously quickly assess and change, which we did not see in the case of Mahendra Singh Dhoni. He won the toss. Uh, kept fielding, kept losing, again won the toss, kept fielding. So that went on for a period of time. I am okay with people win, uh, winning the tosses and putting opposition in. But if it doesn't work, 
you have to quickly go to the uh, go to the other option of batting first we, when it when that doesn't happen then you obviously start thinking that there could be a fault in strategy or the mindset is negative